Well, Graf's strong side, her forehand, but she's had 14 unforced errors on that side. Although she has had eight winners. She can really motor around the court, Jack. You would think that the point ended on this volley. It was nicely struck, but it hit the net, giving Graf just the time she needed to go for the line and make it. Set. Hmm. Well, Steph doesn't want to get too cute with this game. She had a big lead and now she's squandered it in the last two points. Instead of being two all, which it should be by now, Rinaldi could go up 3-1, and she's been holding her serve lately. So this is a very big game for Rinaldi. And an equally big one for Steffi if she wants to really shut the door on her opponent. Advantage graph. A little too much advantage graph. Graf let it slack to Deuce, but she does hold serve, and we are at two all. What a chance for Kathy Rinaldi, Jack, and I think she must know it. A chance gone. Long in the backhand. Love 15. Oh, okay. oh. Numerous times in this match we've seen Graf chop short to the backhand of Rinaldi after this point. Mary, why? Uh, what is it in Rinaldi's game that Graf sees that she wants to exploit that? Oh, it's, a, it's as I was saying earlier, though Kathy has really improved her footwork about the baseline, and she can move laterally so well, so quickly. She still doesn't like coming into the net is when it's not slow? on her own terms. Well, you know, as, as a baseliner, you don't, uh, to make that transition from the backcourt to the forecourt is not often an easy one. And it's still a part of the game, at least according to to Steffi Graf that she feels she can exploit from Rinaldi. Oh, that's a tough shot. Yes. <laughs> that's a tough Oh, that's a great play. 
Beautiful backhand it by Graff just caught the corner. It's a tough shot because here's Steffi on the run, and it's so hard to really gauge where the court is from that position. It fell right into the pocket. Beautiful judgment from Steffi. Rinaldi saves one she really needed to. Or a deuce. Advantage for Rinaldi. Cappy has uh, really had to rely on the consistency of her groundies in these last two points. Rinaldi holds. We are still on serve. Rinaldi up 3-2 in the second set. See, he's, uh, he's gesturing to his kid. Now, look how far away he is. He is on the loose. He's on the run from Lee Jackson, the WTA Tour referee. There is a place for the coaches and players to sit, a player's box. But Peter has been chased all the way up there just so that he'll stay away from Steffi. Lee Jackson, so much on the tour these days with all these kids and their coaches and parents, has to police the area so no coaching can really happen. It's trickier and trickier, according to Lee. A lot of people say that Peter Graff really pressures Steffi and, and makes her work as hard as she does. I don't buy that. I think Steffi wants it as much or even more than her father. And Peter says it, that he says, I got to get her off the court sometimes. She wants to work more than I think she should. Mid court forehand, end of point. 30 left. Here's a shot again, and so well struck. And this is one of the few winners that Rinaldi has had off the backhand side today, even though that gets all the advanced publicity as being her biggest shot. Tennis played in that game by Steffi Graf, and we are at three games all in the second set. Graf won the first set six games to one. But truly, Graf played a much cleaner first set, Jack, than she's played in the second set. She's made errors, and she's given Rinaldi a chance to work her way into this set. on the line from here. It was immediately overruled by Tom Cook. 
A let will be played. First point of the seventh game. Got it. Look at that. And it starts over again. Marathon point, but what a tremendous point of tennis that was. What was interesting about that point, Jack, was that it seemed that Kathy Rinaldi had won it when she advanced to the net, and then it seemed as though Steffi Graf had won it when she hit that big shot to try to end the point. You can hear it's protracted applause for both players because it was, a, in fact, a very big point needed by both and won finally by Steffi Graf. And these are very big points coming up for Kathy Rinaldi as she does not want to fall down a break already down a set. They are big.